Hey, before before this video actually starts, I'm going to say, uh, initially, I didn't think the recording was going to be that long. Um, it it's kind of was f about 50 minutes uh, in total. So I'm split it, splitting it into two parts. Uh, yeah, it's if there's kind of an awkward bit between the beginning of the next part and the end of this one that's why so yeah that's all i gotta say and enjoy the video <laughs> it's here it's time that i actually do this instead of forget <laughs> uh, um if you if you watch me gushing over con uh, you do notice in the beginning that I said something about uh, a little bit of a Eminem tier list uh, on, well, not tier list, list on uh, his albums. And if you watch that and you remembered it, well, congrats, congrats. It, that's this. Well, you already know because of the title of the video, but who cares? Who cares? It's time. It is time for this. And I'm just going to put these two things flat out there keep in mind i'm not i'm not going to change my mind nothing else is going to change my mind on making these two decisions those are i'm not including infinite simply because i have not listened to it enough it's i mean i'd go listen to it like 50 times right now just to make that statement wrong but Opinions take time to, to mature, you know, it's like fine wine, it gets better over time, or, or worse, if, <clears throat> if, if you think highly of my number 10 slot, um, <laughs> oh yeah, 10, yeah, music to be murdered by side A and side B are being fused together, because side B was, I mean, it was released as a deluxe edition, even though it's, it's basically its own album, but deluxe edition it is in my eyes so fuse together boom you're getting a fuse rating it's not gonna it may or may not tank a bit or or be brought up a bit depending on how how you view it but all right let's get into this number 10 revival <laughs> this was actually the first eminem album that i was a fan of the man and i was following it a little bit and like oh oh this this little this little drug drug thing oh, drug as in medicine so drug this little drug thing revival hmm hmm it's 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 starting to link together to eminem hmm interesting interesting like the build up in my eyes with that like oh that was that was cool that was really cool and then album dropped uh i was stupid did not de develop any any taste in music at that time because i was just given freedom and i was exploring music and eminem was the first person i hit up and that was the case for a couple of years but it's it's all better now it's all better now um but yeah i i, I really don't care uh album right now I, I see it as ass it is garbage dog water it's like I don't know. Four songs. I go back. Uh, I'll listen. No, not listen. Go back to listen to. It. I mean, I'll just say, I can. I can stand them. I can tolerate them when they're on. And and a song that I wish I could play a lot more, but over time the chorus has killed me. And yes, at the time I did really enjoy the chorus of it. Was f not framed. No, get that idea out of your head. Offended. I. <sighs> I, I do now share the opinion of others saying it should have been a full-on bar track. Let them go off. No, don't interrupt this. Bam. But I will say a song that I did go back to quite often when I did actually like not listen to anyone else was Framed. Because ha ha ha, I like that serial killer, uh, serial killer uh, mindset uh, theme concept and that might be hinting at a, a certain placement of an album uh who knows 
uh ha 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 but yeah if people were to go listen to this and well well, not listen to this but want to take songs they can listen to to hear the best points of it uh, it's easily easily castle and a rose i mean what else are you gonna pick it's it's revival it's pretty dog water and with all that being said, uh, let's move on to number nine. And I learned recently that people actually enjoy this album. Not that there's anything wrong with that. People can have their own opinion. And don't don't hurt me, please. I, I'm just saying stuff that was on my mind at the time, okay? Uh, I, I, I mean, there's some guilty pleasure songs on this. And I, 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 every time I, I hear someone mention it or I look at Spotify and a song from it pops up, I'm like, oh, it's, it's my, it's the Guilty Pleasure album. Whoa. Not really, but yeah. Uh, number nine, Encore. It's this album. Um, it has some of his best songs. And then the rest is just dog water, ass, doo-doo. Not worth coming back to. <sighs> no, no, see, no, see. Younger me would have said, "Oh, I enjoy song." Yo, that's some god tier record, god tier. But that's not the case. It's not. <laughs> I don't really come back to this album at all. Besides for listening to Yellow Brick Road occasionally, sometimes, or if Spotify wants to grace me with the beautiful shuffle like songs option, which I, I recommend doing if you're ever bored and you're doing in the, doing something and you're like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how to set my mood. Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll remember you have some like magical songs on there. Trust me, worth. But back to actual Eminem. Encore, album, guilty pleasure, songs like Ass Like That, P- Puke. <laughs> Puke. Puke is one of my friend's uh, personal guilty pleasure, or he actually enjoys it. I, I don't care. First single, Big Weenie. Uh, I-, I-, I personally enjoy that for guilty pleasure. Whoa. Just Lose It. I know people, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they they like that. Uh, man, man, it it hurts. It hurts. It hurts to see good, such good songs on an album where it, it's paired with songs that do not support the backbone of the damn concept or whatever. It's uh, it, it's something. It's something else. But honestly, Yellow Brick Road, Mockingbird, Night Toy Soldiers, Mosh, Mo- God Mosh, I forgot about that song. Um, yeah, songs that you would essentially just pick out if you were looking for the best parts. And oh, looky here, next spot, number eight. Music to be murdered by side A and side B. Okay, let's get this straight. I Side A, it was something. It's like the middle of the road Eminem album. When it comes to basic, repetitive, not repetitive, basic, I... Like, oh, I'm just going to, like, put out an album and I'm just going to put, like, what people expect from me. But also slap on the Slim Shady, uh, like, persona on that. R- not really. I actually slap it on it. Just put it on there. So, like, oh, oh, the, the title, it, it matches up what he would do with the Slim Shady persona. Oh, but there's not really any songs that capture that besides, like... Yeah, yeah, or 
little engine or Godzilla I mean <laughs> it, it's it's I mean sure you can say it is but like it's only like some s- s- bits of the songs that like oh oh serial killer but some shady is not really the serial killer uh, archetype unless you're gonna strip some of the funny stuff and you're like oh god what is this fan doing this bro he he should he should actually be arrested for this but honestly album i think it's it's a weird beginning half and the second half it's just god what happened what happened we were we were we were chilling for a little bit it it was it was okay and then god songs like marsh stepstad never love again just kind of kill it farewell but i do say this outro is one of his best outros for an album both on side a and side b now transition to side b it it, yeah yeah it's a little bit more listenable uh, throughout the thing but not perfect not perfect at all nope nope it's like parts in the albums were like oh this isn't this is uh this isn't really touching anything it's not doing anything really special for me sure sure i'll I'll get some more replay re-listens on this but not something i'll come back to in the future very much but yeah as i said prior to hopping on board to the very brief thoughts on side b side a and side b uh music to me better by i i suggest you listen to the outro tracks uh discombobulated for side b i will for side a uh pfft, tracks that are not outros um yeah alfred's theme uh, tone deaf jesus <laughs> Premonition, yeah, Premonition is a good outro. The intro, Premonition is a good intro. It is, it is, it is real nice. It's nice for getting you excited for what you don't get, and that is the Slim Shady, uh, uh persona, the darker one. But hey, we don't get anything that we're promised in life. So, yep, yep, that was number eight. Music to be murdered by side A and side B. We next uh. Next up, Kamikaze. Yep. Yep. For a time, I did think that Kamikaze wasn't as good as Music to be Murdered by. But that was when I, 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 I was coming with this bias. The, 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 your art, your favorite artist bias that just clouds your vision for a while you're like oh this album that just dropped right now this album absolute god tier album of the year put that put that everywhere market that this is what everyone should be learning from and you're like what was i thinking at all this Okay, there's some there's there's highlights on this. There, there's some there's some good stuff. There's bangers, some some deep stuff. Yeah, yeah, the backbone was not supported, but Kamikaze, it, it was pretty solid until it kind of fell apart in the second half uh, on some songs, uh, stepping song, that that chorus, pretty atrocious. Eh, nice guy jesus nice guy oh god that song deserves to be buried normal normal it's normal normal is normal and i there's nothing much i can say about it besides what the hell 
okay realizing it now looking at the track list he has i know he has like some like love songs like well, like relationships songs on his albums but there's like a good four f- tracks about it like normal good guy nice guy all three but bro this album is 13 tracks long well I'll say 12 because one of them is from venom dog that's a fourth of the album i am not trying to hear about goddamn relationship songs broken one songs none the least but besides that i mean you get you get ringer it's pretty it's pretty nice intro the first three tracks real nice real nice tracks uh to to set you up with and then it, it kind of goes on a little bit of a decline and spike back up uh with like not a not a hike and like fall kamikaze i'm just gonna say that that's that that's my little guilty pleasure track it's it's a it's a little it's a little cute, cute track it's it's a little cute uh it's not everyone's cup of tea because because you wonder why when why because there's a little song called fact on curtain call his greatest hits album it's the biggest joke song i've ever heard and god i love it and i will recite it every time it comes on my spotify liked <laughs> shuffle i don't care I will say that not in front of my parents. I will, I will, I will not say it in front of my parents. It, if they ever catch me saying that, I, I, I won't have any balls. I, I won't. No, no, you cannot pay me any amount. I will not. I refuse. But besides that, um, greatest lucky you, uh, and fall go listen to those songs from the out from the album kamikaze yep yep they're real nice real nice cute songs um not cute uh they're real nice solid uh technical for like greatest and not a like the not no not not like lucky you yes lucky you you're seeing me mess up quite a bit because i'm not gonna cut this up i'm gonna do it raw yep mm-hmm and next uh i don't know how people feel about this album i know there's a little bit of a divide a little bit of it but it's leaning on the more positive side uh that's recovery i am not a very big fan of recovery but i will say it is the safest album he could have put out at the time why because the reception at the time to relapse was not so good it was not really good because of one thing accents that album had quite a bit of accents and it kind of dominated it a little bit just just a little bit just a little bit but hey recovery what can i say it's it, it, it it's it's an album it's pretty safe it's a pretty safe album to release the, the the commercial album is is what I'm I label it every time I'm like oh oh it's I'm gonna get I'm gonna get these type of songs that are appeal to this and that but yeah but I mean even the love song Spacebound I, I I do enjoy I do enjoy it I should not be saying that at all I enjoy a couple of the love songs but those are I, you know what take that back take that back S- yeah spacebound i do enjoy and i pr- people like that too but i'm just gonna say this the intro cold wind blows t- up there uh, up there top three m M&M intros for albums up there with like kill you and god Oof. my name is yeah yeah like just go listen to it it's yeah it's worth it yeah and and yeah so the album recovery yeah yeah if if relapse was him saying get him getting better recovery yeah he he's he's better he's showing he's showing that he's better by 
showing that he has a new mindset and and he's he's more open which if if you know Eminem at all that that man does not care he does not care about you he's not caring about you in the way he thinks he does is what i would have said if we were in 2004 i know people have heard the song not afraid I, it's it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of a big song big song uh, it got like a, a billion views on on youtube if i remember correctly yeah yeah a l- little bit of a big song um yeah you want to look at the chorus real quick man says i'm going to extend my arms out to you i'm not re- mind you i'm not reading the lyrics specifically yeah he, he he he's extending his arm out to you saying yeah come with me we got this we, we will we will get better mm-hmm. yeah we'll get better yada 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 dog we're chilling i'll take you on this ride show you that i'm better yeah it's a real good song it was on the radio for a reason not because not only because it was catchy it's good but yeah cold wind blows uh session one untitled no love no love really crazy it's it's really crazy one of his best verses i mean he does say it in there but it's, it's not greatest of all time verse but it's, it's it's a good verse good verse yeah yeah and that's the end of part one for my m M&M ranking uh i'm i do intend on dropping the second part on friday uh, October 1st to maybe coincide with uh, the dropping of Marshall Mathers LP3 because uh, we're, we're in that state where it's oh rumor rumor this rumor that and hey I mean if it drops it drops that'll be fun uh, but yeah enjoy the rest of your day night evening afternoon whatever yeah peace yeah. Fuck with me, fuck with me, fuck with me, fuck with me, fuck with me. One time, y'all.